Hey, how's it going? This is Neil, just keeping it real. Alrighty, so in terms of marketing, you know, as a business, you want to get clients. So if you want to get new clients without necessarily having to spend money on advertising, uh, unless you really know what you're doing in terms of doing an ad campaign on Facebook or on Google, um, there's probably some things you can do so as not to risk a lot of your uh, investment to promote your business. Now, this is probably good, you know, what I'm going to bring out here. This is probably good for you if you're a small business. Maybe you don't have the capital to invest, to really throw money into major marketing services and what for. But things you can do yourself if you're willing to learn how to do this. So the one thing about Google is being able to bring traffic to your website. You know, you can build a website, set your business up on a website, but people need to know where your website is. So you can, you can post that on Facebook as you know, normal businesses do. And of course, you have, to, you have to know how to use tags because when people are searching for a particular business on Facebook, you know, your business face page you know, option with other businesses will show up. So, you, you know, that kind of helps get you uh, potential traffic and perhaps potential clients as well when you do that. Uh, when you off a social business page, it's a little tougher. So, you know, if you're just trying to uh, do a Google advertisement, you know, and a lot of times, you know, Google, because they own YouTube as well, you know, they can put your uh, ad inside of some of the videos that a lot of people go and see. So they, they will help to target the traffic. And a lot of these videos is probably getting like, you know, six figure views, you know, maybe even a million views and stick your commercial in those videos. And those videos will be about subjects that will probably pertain to what you're selling. So people who may have an interest and what you're selling. And that same interest is what got them watching those YouTube videos. They will see that commercial and, and click through to your link. So that's another way in which you can help bring traffic to your business. But um, there's some caveat to it because, you know, you have to know how to do audience targeting and, and things of that nature. Uh, you know, if you're more of a experienced marketer and SEO and what for, it helps. So you would really have to, you know, if, you know, probably nine times out of 10, you may not know how to do that. So you probably have to hire uh, someone in marketing that really knows that. And um, they will, they'll bring you results. But that costs money. Okay, so I mean, if you really want to try to do this uh, on a low scale way, but yet organically and to be able to bring you some traffic without you know, busting your budget, then um, you know, there's kind of some freebie things you can do. Okay, so I'm doing this video to just kind of really help you to see that. First of all, it's free to get a YouTube account. If you have a Gmail account, you basically have a YouTube account. Okay, and let's say you, let's say you have an electrician you know, you're an electrician. So if you just do videos on the dangers of your house being wired wrong, the things that could happen. And I mean, there's a lot of things that you can use as a topic video subject. You just keep making those videos, keep posting them. Okay, Google like when you keep doing it because they want to sell commercial ad spots on videos. So they're gonna they're gonna get those videos play. They're gonna get play time because that means more clients they can you know charge money to advertise on the videos. So you keep doing that, keep posting it, and then what you can do is when they watch the video, you're talking about all the things that could go bad if your house is wired wrong or whatever. Okay. Um, what you want to do is you want to put in your detail box. I want to open up one here for an example. Okay, I'll just take this one here. Um, 
computer looks slow. All right, so in this particular video I have, you know, it's, it's entitled, you know, uh, Money You Can Make Doing Headlight Restoration. Okay, so it's like, a, you know, a side gig, a hustle, you know, job that people can come up with and make money on the side. All right, so, but you're an electrician. Okay, you, you make this video about the hazardous of wiring your home wrong or somebody who they're not licensed or they're not really a special, you know, they don't have the specialized skills to do what they need to do. And these are the things that can go wrong. Okay, you highlight that in your video. But in the video detail box, okay, you want to put, in my case, because even though I have the um, link to my car light cleaner website, you know, for the training, in case people want to get into it, right? You want to put an additional link to your website itself, okay? So in this case, um, the website to your business for the services that you offer to make sure that their house is wired correctly and that they have it done by a licensed, you know, professional, you know, 20 year plus guy, you know, however many years experience you got. Put your, uh, put your website link here to that business website of yours. Okay. Now in this case, I got another website. So, so I can, oops, paste that in. There we go. Okay. So I paste in some additional information. So in terms of them learning the business of headlight restoration, I put in the question, how do I promote my headlight restoration business to get more clients? And so here I talk about the things that I'll be able to provide them because I also design signs. So guys in the headlight restoration business, they need a sign, uh, a car door magnet sign, a business card magnet that they can put on the cars. So when the client come out the store, they see it on the car. And so this is how I will drive traffic to my other site, Hustle, for sign design. But you're doing uh, the traffic that you want to direct to your website for your elect electrician business because you want them to first uh, see the video about the hazards of your house being wired wrong. You know, so people are gonna, they're gonna find those videos, they're gonna look at them, and then, of course, they're gonna see yours. And uh, what's gonna happen is they want to get their house wired properly because they just saw a scary movie <laughs> about how it's done incorrectly, and they're gonna contact you. So that's, you know, that's, that's just smart marketing when you do that. But you got all those videos that you made. You see, and um, I would I would just suggest, you know, putting your city, your town, locality there. OK, so um, they'll get a chance to um, when they pull that up. They'll get a chance to see that. All right. So another example, too, with um, re real estate. OK. Um, you want to put up videos about, you know, just how um, how easy it may be to actually get approved, how you can help your credit score to get situated where you can get approved for, you know, it's a loan. And um, you have those kind of videos that you put up, you know, you have to do your research, okay? You know, make sure you're truthful about what you're telling people about how they can really improve their credit score, okay? And when you do that, you have those type of videos made, then down in the detail box, just as I did with my video detail, you can put in a link to your real estate website. I mean, you know, especially if you're, you know, if you're, if you're in more than one town, you're in more than one state, you know, this might be like major real estate companies, you know, they, um, they may be appreciating seeing this video if they actually see it. Um, you're welcome. 
Okay, but anyway, nonetheless, it's gonna help people to um, be linked straight to you immediately after seeing that it's possible for them to get approved for a home loan. So you're, you're taking traffic uh, about that and they get excited that, hey, you know, maybe I can't, and then they're going to check you out, okay? So you're doing things that are related to one another uh, to drive the traffic to your website. Instead of just talking about, hey, I'm an electrician, give me a call. I mean, you can do that with some videos you make. But do some videos on other subjects regard, you know, related to your, your field. That if you wire your house wrong, if you don't have the best qualified, you know, person, then you could be in trouble. We are certified. We have expertise in this field that helps you to get the clients. But they're going to come to those videos first to uh, learn about <laughs> the horror stories of doing something wrong or to learn about the possibility that, you know, you can buy a house. All right, so what you're doing too is you're creating backlinks to your website. So they're watching a video or something else that pertains to what you do, uh, it's connected with what you do. It's a backlink. Google really highly, they highly recognize when persons are getting backlinks from important websites like YouTube, like Facebook. You can post those videos on Facebook as well and have the link to your site. Okay, and especially on Facebook, you, you, you know, you get a lot of local targeting there in particular on Facebook. So you know how to use those tags about, um, uh, um, you know, doing your house correctly with uh, wiring, electrical wiring, plumbing, you know, whatever it is, uh, drywall repairs, you know, have those, a number of those subject discussion videos on Facebook and link it to your business, okay? And that's how you're gonna get, drive some of that traffic to your website, okay? Without, you know, doling out money in the budget to, uh, to get those, those traffics. And of course, if you do start getting the, the traffic and you start getting clients, maybe start making some money, you can scale up. And then uh, you get to the level where, hey, I'm, I'm doing so well with my business. Let me go ahead and hire the big guns of those who know how to really market my business and get me going, <clears throat> you know, and get you going. So those are things you can do. Now, I tell you what, there's other how-to videos that I have that will really show you how you can market your business. And just check it out. It's at how to walkthroughvideo.com. Matter of fact, uh, I can pull that up right here on the screen. All right. Mm, here we go. It's not coming in just right there. We go. All right. So here at uh, How to Walk Through Videos, I show you, you know, how you can do some very marketable, you know, techniques to bring traffic to you, to your business, how you can rank your business on Google. Uh, see like this first one here, how to create a digital product download page. Okay, so if you like to sell digital products, you sell eBooks, you can be able to have someone purchase that eBook, have them go to the download page and they receive their product, you receive your money, but what's interesting is you don't have to be at your computer for that to happen. So every time they make a purchase, you don't have to get it in the email and then contact them and then send it to the email. You know, you don't have to be tied up to your computer. Having a, a digital download page frees you from that. It's hands-free, okay? You can learn how to do that. And I have a very affordable price there, okay? In the next video here, how to get more free traffic from Facebook to your website for more clients. You see, everyone knows you can create a business page on Facebook, but do you know 
that if you do some things with the uh, feature that they have with Facebook business page, you can double, triple the traffic of people coming to your website from Facebook. Okay, you can find that out with this training video because I, I do it myself. And here, this is the most interesting one here locally for your business. How to register your business in local Google Map for local clients to find you. That's going to be a very interesting video that you need to, to check out. Because your competition that's locally on the Google search in your local town, this video will actually show you the things that a lot of those guys don't do to rank themselves and you can find yourself right at the top of the search in the local search for uh, you know the service of products that people are looking for and just so you can uh, really see what I mean by you know taking advantage of the SEO things you need to do to be on top of your competitors in the local Google search when you register yourself in Google Map. Let me show you what I've done. Now, I just started up my site business, which is called the Freelance Sign Designer. Okay, FreelanceSignDesigner.com. So now people, they're gonna search for, you know, signs. They want a sign made. So they're gonna go in, uh, type up sign shop. Okay, so they go sign shop. Google gonna help them out, sign shop near me. A lot of times they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna click on that. So it's that's that just goes to show how important it is for you to be in Google Map. So as soon as people are Google searching anything, Google gonna say near me. People are gonna click that nine times out of ten. Okay, they're not gonna say sign shop. You know, even if they try to say you know sign shop in Cartersville, Georgia. They want to type that in, but Google is just going to say near me. They're not going to type in the rest of that in Cartersville. If they do type in sign shop in Cartersville, they're going to find you, right? Because um, you, you're probably going to have that city name on your website. And of course, you know, the Google search crawlers, they see that and they do pop, you, pop up your website or your video. But People, nine times out of 10, before they type in Science Shop in Cartersville, Georgia, right? Google's gonna pop this up, Science Shop near me, and they're gonna click on it. It's just gonna happen. And when they do, they are not gonna see you. <laughs> so that's, that's really how Google Map is really just kind of taken over like that. So when you, they scroll down, in this case, here I am, freelance sign designer. Okay, freelance sign design. So that's how they, they they will see me. And I know how to, of course, do the backlinks and what forth and, and everything that's necessary so that once I register my side business here, I'm ranked up here amongst the top guys. I mean, you can scroll down, you'll see more guys, hundreds of them, but I'm in the number two spot under my local competitor. He's really not a competitor. I really don't see myself as a competitor because really what I am, I'm a freelance sign designer. So if any of these sign shops nearby, they, they have an overflow work, I can help them out, do the designs, submit it back to them, uh, EPS file, um, and that way they can go ahead and print, print out, you know, what the customer wants. So I'm, I'm kind of like a, you know, an assistant designer on the side. All right. So, but I want you to, I want you to pay attention to the fact that these guys got great ratings they have five-star ratings. And even the, the, the people that's below this got five-star ratings as well. Um, uh, but if you see mines, I don't have any, I don't have any ratings. So if I don't have the star ratings like these guys do, I mean, I'm, I'm new on the scene, right? So you're not going to expect to have five star ratings and things if you're brand new, right? 
So it would seem to make sense that I wouldn't be here. I should be buried in the pile. But why am I here? Why am I in the second spot? It's only because there's things that I do in ranking, getting attention with the Google search that a lot of these guys are not doing. A lot of these guys on the screen is not doing. Now, this uh, business here that's on top of me, he probably got a hold of a very, you know, professional marketing agency that knows how to do all the things to put him up here. And the same thing with this, this business below me. You know, they, you know, so a lot of these guys that's at the top, when people go to the uh, final result of their search, when you see them at the top, uh, these guys that are at the top, they're there because they utilize a very good marketing service. So I do a number of the things that those marketing services do. And that's why I'm right there with them. <laughs> so, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to really get a lot of the business because I can't really do the things that these guys have because they got the printing machines. I have the software for designing the graphics. So I will be able to uh, assist these guys if they got work overflow. And that's what that is. So if you want to really know how to do that, then uh, I have the video and how to walk through video so how you can take advantage of uh, registering with Google Map and the things you need to do that's going to rank you higher so that you're at the top of the pile as well. All righty. So I just thought I'd throw that in. All right. So there's more videos that I have uh, that you can check out. You go to the uh, more how to videos page, uh, backlinks that helps traffic, brings traffic to your website. That's a very important video. It's, uh, it's a good lengthy video, but it's very, very important to help you to rank in the Google search. All right, so here I got my headlight restoration training video there. Uh, here you have how to start an online community business in your neighborhood. So if you're looking for a side hustle, this one will give you an idea. All right, so that's it. Just wanted to show you guys how you can actually be able to bring traffic your way, get some clients, you know, if you don't have the budget, you know, to really put into to doing that. So uh, just something to get you started without much money coming out your pocket. All righty. So this is Neil and uh, just keeping it real. I'll catch you in another video. Take care.